When Thor 4's second trailer dropped, our jaws did too. Marvel gifted us the god bod of our dreams. All of it! The new IMAX trailer delivered more than we bargained for, much to our delight. Even though the trailer is filled with terrifying gore and charismatic Thor scenes, fans are stuck on one. So let's break down that spicy scene in today's video. First up, Swish and Flick. Can't say we blame the fans for drawing toward the scene we were too. Guilty as charged, sir. Obviously, Marvel meant to do that. Not only is it threatening us with Jane's mighty biceps, but we also see a transformed Thor since the heartbreaking Endgame finale. Previous trailers have shown us our favorite Norse god was hard at work, working with those massive chains. That worked out well. Before we slide down to the sculpted ends, we must celebrate the first proper look of Zeus. So far, we were only teased with a hint or back view of the electrifying god, but this trailer ends in his glittery court of Mount Olympus. We can finally see Russell Crowe donning the golden capes of Zeus, surrounded by some fair maidens and guards. Thor can be seen in a blue hooded cape, completely covered except his face. Not for long, though. Zeus's guards surrounded Thor, and the disguise bothered the Greek god of thunder. So what did he do? Much like Hermione, he swished and flicked. Next, the birthday suit. Lo and behold, it's exactly what Gina said in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Thor 4, more Thor! We've seen Thor shirtless before. Yeah, it's pretty delicious every time. So what's so special about this IMAX trailer? Well, this one traveled to some risque regions, the nether ones. The expanded look travels downtown to that V intersection. After that bigger view, little is left to the imagination. <laughs> is it getting hot in here? But we're still not done here. Our vision is immediately shifted, and we now face the muscular back of the blonde god. Sneaky Marvel pixelated that fine behind, but we now know for sure. We definitely have more Thor, all of him, in his glory. The angry boy can be seen shouting, you flick too hard, but we don't see a single person complaining. Next, a relatable audience. Before we move on to the audience's reaction, here's another noteworthy thing about Thor's back. We can see him sporting a new tattoo of horns. If they seem familiar, they pay tribute to the mischievous Loki. Stop it, Thor. You kind of make us cry with this tribute. <laughs> Now onto the audience. Remember the fair maidens we mentioned besides Zeus? They dropped on the floor like dominoes. A couple of Greek lads, too. Since the warriors are trained better, they stood their ground. But we caught your swoonish stumble, fellas. The main man, Zeus, also looked a little shocked. The people enjoying it the most were King Valkyrie and the mighty Thor. The ladies can be seen lounging on some throne-like chairs in similar disguises. Jane half-heartedly ponders out loud, should we help him? To which Valkyrie replied, yeah, eventually while munching on some snacks. First, savor the view, girl. Clearly, both ladies are having the time of their lives. We can't decide which reaction we relate with the most. We also swooned a little, got speechless, and watched the video a little too many times. However, we weren't the only ones. Now, the verdict of the viewers. Since the trailer dropped, the entertainment biz is also getting in on the fun. YouTube has caught us in the act. The video sharing company reported the most viewed scene of the 2 minute, 17 second long trailer comes at exactly Exactly the two minute mark. We double checked the trailer. That's precisely where our eyes can feast on the sculpted alleys. We did it to authenticate the report, guys. With the rise in views, replays to be exact, many tweets flooded Twitter in response to this thirst trap. Many fans wonder if the pixels covering Thor's tushy will retain in the movie itself. One tweet muses, Are we getting Thor butt? Another praises Taika Waititi, saying only that man could give us a nude Thor. One other said that the world would be seeing Chris Hemsworth's best attributes aka his butt in IMAX. However, the bigger question was, is the MCU following in the steps of the Eternals? Up next, a Hulk scene 2.0? It was the first time in Eternals that the cinema godfathers showed a sex scene. Marvel has been pretty conservative about it. It focuses more on the action and superhero aspects than the humanistic aspect. Yes, we've seen it handled sensitive issues like Tony's PTSD and Thor's depression, but it usually skims over the romances and sex part. Eternals changed that. We've seen Marvel growing more, including complex topics such as Moon Knight's personality disorder. The quirky director, Taika Waititi, has rebelled a little more, dabbling in nude waters. He dished some green peaches back in Thor Ragnarok. In a funny scene, we saw naked Hulk showing off himself to a shocked Thor. See how tables have turned? That was motion captured, but it was based on Mark Ruffalo's actual Heine. The lovable Korg portrayer thought it would be hilarious to include it. He had some doubts later on about whether he 
needed a green behind? That question is in the past, though. Many people are convinced that Hulk's butt walked, so Thor's could run. We can surely expect this from Taika Waititi. The director saved the Thor franchise from the horror that was Thor, The Dark World. We thought we're getting no more solo Thor movies, but Thor Ragnarok went against all odds. Waititi turned the franchise around from dull colors to quintessential humor and popping imagery. That's why people believe that the director can unpixelate the goods, and we might be getting a proper nude scene. Then again, who knows they're toying with us? Taika may be tickling our funny bones, and a different scene appears in the movie. If that happens, we guess the IMAX trailer will have to suffice. Now, in other related news, the new best MCU villain. In our fangirling over Thor's body, many people missed a more proper introduction to Gore, the God Butcher. He could have been called a killer, but Butcher sounds way more intense. Christian Bale is finally lending his expertise to the MCU. He has already served DC as one of their best Batman, and looks like he'll be doing the same here. From the movie cast to the audience, everyone is singing his praises. The director called him the best MCU villain so far. Since Bale indulges in method acting, many cast members were initially wary. They said in the interview that we'd be busy joking around mid-scenes, and Bale walks in. Everything suddenly becomes so intense. He played his part remarkably well. But when Bale spoke to them casually, they found out that not only is he good on screen, but he's also a lovely co-star. The actor used to interact with them and share his thought process behind portraying the villain. Hear this, even Chris Hemsworth is Team Gore. Now, we just hope Marvel doesn't kill him off like other hype villains. Taika says that we'll understand the villain's arc and motives well. Last time, we understood that was with Killmonger in Black Panther. Sadly, his reign ended too quickly. But tides are turning. He may be coming back for Black Panther 2, so let's keep our hopes up for Gore, the God Butcher. Next, Signs of a Death. Even though we're mainly focusing on the goods, the trailer has teased a character's death. Bring out the analyzing specs. We can see in the trailer, Valkyrie is fighting with Gore. Waititi has uniquely used the black and white tones to emphasize Gore's intense intentions, so a gold weapon immediately stands out. The female Asgardian warrior uses a gold lightning bolt to fend off the villain. And who's surrounded by gold? Zeus, of course. The lightning bolt is his treasured weapon, his trademark. Now fans think the only reason it's departed from him is that Zeus is dead. That's very plausible. Gore is on a hunt for gods. In his fierce yet impassive dialogue, he says, all gods must die. So perhaps he got Zeus's head on a platter. If that's true, that's sad news for Russell Crowe's fans. But it tells us this, Gore is not playing around. Watch out, Thor. Lastly, a heartbreaking throwback. According to the makers, the Thor retirement movie is filmed like a chick flick. We have romance, humor, and an evil villain. So it's only fair we have a heartbreak too. A blondie told us we might finally be getting a throwback scene to Thor and Jane's breakup. Past movies didn't quench our thirst much. We only saw how the couple got together, and Natalie Portman left after that. The lovey-dovey scenes of the relationship were never shown. We just knew the relationship ended. There was only one mention of Jane before that, when Tony and Thor were showing off their lady love in Age of Ultron. Then, poof, they broke up. Now, Waititi might be taking us back to the past. He says the breakup was never addressed properly, so he has a lot of room for interpretation. Knowing the director, he'll surely come up with an entertaining scene. That's all the gossip for Thor, Love and Thunder for now. Do tell us in the comments how many times you saw the scene. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.